Hi, I'm Andrew Bonnell, and today I'm going to show you how to find the laser profile using ImageJ and a smartphone. Uh, a couple of the tips that you want to make sure is you want to make sure it's dark, the laser, to get it to be spread out. Uh, well, you can just read it right there. All right, so I did most of that, and I took this picture right here. This is a picture of um, a Heaney laser, a blue pen laser, a green pen laser, and a red pen laser right there. And I'm going to do some processing on this Heaney laser. Uh, first off, if you don't have ImageJ, um, it's a free download. It's a very powerful uh, tool. You can use it for research uh, and images. Uh, first, we're going to draw a rectangle. And if you notice, I drew, have some um, rulers taped to this whiteboard. And, uh, and it looks like they're not perpendicular. But I made, I had them perpendicular to a couple degrees. Um, the reason why they're slightly bent in is because of a couple of reasons. I had my camera too close to the image, and so it distorted it a little bit. And I also had my camera angled a little bit. So because of those reasons, it looks distorted. But this um, this uh, box, you can, and this these um, uh, rulers, you can convert the pixels into a calibrated space. And to do that, you just click Plugins and Figure Calibration. If you don't have the figure calibration dot class, search for it on the internet. Uh, it's a very powerful tool so that I can now come in and say the lower corner is zero, the upper right corner is 100 millimeters. And same thing, 100 millimeters, zero and 100. And now every pixel is going to be assigned a millimeter value. Okay, so now on to calibration, or sorry, now on to analysis. Uh, let's look at the blue laser uh, first. But unfortunately, to do um, to do images, you really need to convert this to a grayscale image. And so to do that, you hit image type, and then I'm just going to use an 8-bit scale so that there'll be 256 um, images, and that turns it to a grayscale image. I'm going to draw the box a little bit closer like that, and I'm going to do analysis, uh, plot profile. Oh, sorry, surface plot. Now here's the surface plot window. I'm going to check the draw wire frame, and when I do that, I get a really nice graph for my um, that I could export, save as a picture. Let's just go ahead and move this down a little bit. File, save as, and now I can save this as a JPEG or another type of image, um, what, what you want for your report. Now, if you do want to save this picture as an EPS, you have to search for EPS Writer for, um, um, for your LaTeX uh, editing to import the, that as a vector uh, and cope <laughs> uh, as, a, as a vector image. OK, so next, if we wanted to get this the profile of across the laser. Well, let's just look at this other Heaney laser really quick. A Heaney laser is well collimated. It does spread out, but it's pretty well collimated and it has better optics than cheap pen lasers. And so let's analyze that one. Once again with the surface plot, it's with the same settings, and we get a nice, smooth, but noisy picture. So that's how that looks. Next to get um, Next, to get a uh, profile of this, I'm just going to draw a line across the middle of that. Let's see, I think I might, oh, let's see. Ah, it's not that important. Let's see. I could move that down. I could move this line down. Uh, that's pretty close to this, the middle. Analysis, and then now I'm going to uh, plot profile. And when I do that, I get this image right here of, of that data across the middle of that. And if you can see, it is still very noisy. Now this data, you can save it, and you can save it as, as a word, values.txt. I'm just going to hit cancel. I've already done that with a slice. And uh, then you can open up Origin or another software, and you can import your data as a text file. And then you can fit it to, here I fit it to a, a Gaussian. Notice how I did drag in the, 
the outside just a little bit. My whiteboard was a little bit bent. I had a few overhead lights on, and so there was a little bit of extra light on this side. I should have made the room a little bit darker, or the hallway a little bit darker. Now, one more thing with this slice right there. I could also draw just a narrow box like this. And then, let's see, let's drag it out all the way to about there. And now what, what MSJ is going to do if I do another profile is it's going to average the vertical pixels and give me pixels across here. But if I wanted to calibrate this, notice how I drew it to my ruler. Uh, plugins, I can go figure calibration once again. And let's just say 0 to uh, some arbitrary number, it doesn't matter. And then I can say 0 to 100 and hit OK. And that's going to calibrate my, oops, I did it wrong way. Plugins, <laughs> figure calibration, I needed to go the other way. So my X needed to be 100. And my upper right, just one millimeter is fine. Okay, so next I do analysis plot profile. And notice here, now um, my distance says pixels down here, but it's actually calibrated to uh, millimeters. So I could actually know exactly how, mil how many millimeters is across that line right there. And, and that's it for the profile of a laser beam. Uh, try it out. Try MHJ. MHJ has some powerful techniques, far more than I could um, talk about here in a couple minutes. And that's it. Thanks for watching.